Hey guys, what's up? Demon Dog here today with another video about the Metalhead Stigma. And today's topic about the stigma is parents. Let me take a sip from my mug full of maggots. <laughs> okay, so, um... Look, if you have Metalhead parents, hey, that's fucking awesome, man. Fucking awesome, I mean, like, imagine, uh, your parents being metalheads, you being a metalhead, and both of them take you to a Campbell Corpse show, or, uh, I don't know, uh, a Bloodbath show, even. <laughs> and, yeah, it would be awesome. But for us that have non-metalhead parents, it sucks for us because uh, they're uh, they're treating us like if uh, all this is a phase, like if it's just fashion and that we're dressed weird and stuff like that. I mean, my my father, uh, whenever he uh, dropped me off at a concert and. Uh, he saw that I was wearing my battle jacket. He was like, so you're, you're seriously going to wear that? Man, you look like a Christmas tree. You know, because of having a lot of things on it. And when I told him um, that, uh, hey, man, uh, hey, dad, every, everyone else uh, has those jackets with a lot of bands' logos on them, on it, uh, and, and then he said, like, no, no, uh, they only have one or two. Uh, uh, immediate facepalm, I was like, how do you know if you're not the one going to the concert? Like, yeah, sure, uh, you maybe just see a few of them wearing the battle jacket, but... Hey, uh, I mean, in metal shows, it's always going to be there, just like, uh, just like that there's always going to be a guy wearing a Metallica t-shirt. Believe me, every uh, rock or metal show that I've been to, there's always been a guy wearing a Metallica t-shirt. And for metal shows, you see uh, t-shirts of the other big four, uh, Megadeth, Anthrax, and uh, Slayer. Um, and they also, uh, I mean, I'm telling you guys my experience with my parents as a metalhead. Uh, I don't know if it's like this for every uh, metalhead with uh, non-metalhead parents. Also, the mine, for example, uh, when when I'm buy, when I bought the souvenirs, they ask like, "Oh, so uh, do you get a T-shirt?" I tell them yes, and I tell tell them I also got a patch, and I also got a CD. And they face bomb and are like, oh my god, why are you buying CDs? I don't know if they tell you guys um, about those CDs. I don't know if they uh, tell you shit for that. But mine, for example, whenever I buy CDs, they tell me like, oh man, hey, don't spend your money on CDs. Don't, uh, don't buy them. When you can just download the music. I mean, it's not just parents. I think anyone tells you that if you tell them you buy the CDs. Everyone has told me that. Friends, family, uh, classmates, when I was in school. You know, they could never understand uh, someone's love for the metal. Someone's love for the music. <clears throat> and okay, here's another point. Um, now let's say you dress like a total metalhead, 
stereotypical metalhead that you see in the movies, in movies or uh, TV show, sleeves cut off, sleeves cut off, um, the you know the spiked bracelets and you know all that cool shit, and they tell you, oh man, why are you dressed like that? You're on, you're only asking for. <coughs> God damn, I hate my throat whenever, whenever I'm on topic and, you know, uh, speaking through, my throat always gives me problems, but when I'm like, um, um, my throat's not giving me any problems, Jesus Christ. And I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, that, they, they tell you, like, oh, why are you dressed like that, you're just asking for trouble. And like, hey, come on, man. Uh, any parent sees this, uh, let your metalhead son or your metalhead daughter dress however he or she wants, however they want. Come on, I mean, you have fucking girls uh, showing their fucking belly buttons like they're, like if their t-shirt won't, uh, you know, fit them. Like if they stole the t-shirt from uh, from their little uh, sister, from their little five-year-old sister. I mean, yeah, you have girls dressing real slutty and all that stuff. Uh, the shorts showing their asses. Yeah, you see their ass cheeks whenever they're walking. And that, uh, I gave my parents that example, like, Hey, there's people dressed uh, more provocative than me. Uh, I gave them those examples of girls dressing all slutty and like, yeah, but it's their problem, not yours. Like, oh, what fucking argument is that? I mean, the point is, they dress how they want, I can dress how I want. And then, of course, there's family members who don't understand your t-shirts and, you know, they don't know the bands and all that stuff. All they'll know is if you're wearing a Metallica t-shirt, they'll be like, oh, hey, cool Metallica. But then, uh, you know, you're wearing a t-shirt of a band that's, that no one's heard of. And they're like, oh, uh, what's that? And... It's really cringy when they try to read the name, but they're, um, you know, uh, they they can't uh, they can't pronounce it. Uh, you wear, for example, a DSI T-shirt, and they're like, they see it, they decide, uh, decide, they don't see that there's an I after the E. You know, and it just makes you want to cringe real bad. Another point on this is uh, Christmas. Uh, Infidel made a point on that and I decided to kind of talk about it. You get uh, something you didn't want for a gift. You specifically said like, I want this album, I want, uh, if, if there isn't this one, then I want this other one. Um, you know, you're also thinking of getting a t-shirt, metal t-shirt, and stuff like that, but, oh, come on, they, they get your phone, um, uh, you know, they're like, they think it's, it's something trendy and, you know, uh, like unique and all that stuff. They think it's something that everyone will want, and they're like, no, I wanted a CD, that's what I wanted. Um, so uh, don't be giving me a phone. And you know, they're like, uh, well, what do you want a CD if uh, later on they're going to stop making them? Yeah, well, be that as it may, it's my problem. Uh, it's my problem if I want a CD. It's not yours. It's not your problem. I want the CD because it's for me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be making a 
business with it or something like that. I mean, hell, I um, I was even thinking of uh, getting money uh, because, like, if they don't get you the exact thing you want, they can give you money so you can, you know, go and buy that thing. But no, instead you get a fucking phone that you didn't even want. Well, but well, uh, I mean, like, that's not a problem with me because, you know, I got my own place, uh, I got a job, and I'm earning my own money so I can, you know, uh, spend on any metal thing that I want. Okay, guys, so well, that's it, end of rant. Um, anyone still. Any metalhead still living with non-metalhead parents? Good luck to you. At the end of the day, we love them. Uh, we can't uh, choose our parents or anything. Well, we gotta love them. Well, unless of course they be you know that. But if that's not the case, then you know just love them and uh, be grateful for them. This rant uh, was just about the cringy things that. Uh, non metalhead parents uh, do uh, to metalhead kids. And I'm lucky that this no longer happens to me. Okay, guys, see you later, and as always, keep it metal.